Hello and welcome to this Wednesday edition of Tennessee Valley This Morning on WTMB. Joe and Kim Palo with you. Uh, as we said, Wednesday, middle of the week Wednesday. Today is a very special day. Today, well, it really... It's the most special of days. That's right. It really started on Saturday. Yeah, you want to get right, me, right, right, absolutely. It really excuse my, excuse my soda. I'm one of those people that in the morning, I do the diet coke thing, um, and so no coffee, no, no warm stuff. I have to have the diet coke. But today is the specialist of all days, especially if you live in my world, because today is Mr. Palo's birthday. Is and that why just, that handsome man is here? That's why he's here. He's going to be here to tell all the tales that I would get in trouble for telling. Um, about you, but Joe doesn't just have a day, he has a whole month. And it started so Saturday. It started, yes, yeah, Saturday. And so here we are on a Wednesday morning and we're going strong. And so we have some very special folks here today to talk to you about Joe and a little bit of the past that you may not know about. Well, I know about it. They may not know, but, no. but I, yeah, I know I about it. I probably don't know how. There's of some it. of you don't know. That's very, very true. Uh, but yeah, well, thank you so much then for because see today is officially the day the fifth, right? But again, we got the whole month. But today, right? We started on Saturday and we kind of count down instead of counting down to Christmas. We, well, we count before and after, after. the day because today of, the birth of Joe Palo. Today, may she rest in peace. Was my mother's greatest day. <laughs> was today. Oh my word! And if she were here, she would tell you that. Uh, because today was right, the day. and my greatest day was June twenty fourth, nineteen seventy eight. See, I'm all things to all people. It's the day and, I married him. Yeah, that's the day that, that Kim got lucky enough to and take should have away taken from my the mother. five grand my dad asked me or was going to give me to elope or not to elope to just to run away. Tell everybody, yeah. but <laughs> again, away. like we've talked about, he offered the wrong. He person offered the, money. the wrong person. That's absolutely yeah. correct. But I uh, thank you. So, yeah. So today is a wonderful day, and I appreciate you uh, having these wonderful guests that you've got here coming on today. <laughs> well, to, it was to talk, like this to talk to <laughs> talk it. about some of the one, wonderful things that I've done <laughs> in my life. Uh, in yeah. just a mere hour, too. I mean, I don't know if it could be done. No, this, well, <laughs> well, what we'll have to do is we'll set the programmer. We'll make this a, uh, a four-hour show. <laughs> uh, and then, uh, you know, but no, I, I do appreciate it. And, and I won't say, well, I, yeah, I'm not 54. I'm not, yeah, I'm not <laughs> 54 years young today. Yes, and you look very good for 54. Well, thank you very much. Yes, thank you do. I appreciate it. You've lost all, he's half the person he used to be. I, I am. I've lost a lot of he's weight. Lost I've a lost like 50, you know, four years. You know, he has, he's lost 100 pounds and he's kept it off for a year and a half. Very, kudos, not too many people can do that. That's exactly right. I don't do it, I, I diet every Monday. But, it, you know, well, it was, it, was, it was hard, yet it wasn't that hard. Because you, no. you get your head right, like you said. Right, he had his head get right. Get your head right, then it's not as hard as you think it could be. But. When you decide to be anorexic and. It's not anorexic, it's uh, more. It's more now people that people that okay here's a perfect example James and Stacy Dunn bulimia. who are friends of ours <laughs> who moved here three years ago they've only known me like this they didn't know me the they didn't know the other Joe mm -mm. and they don't think I'm anorexic <laughs> they've never said Joe you look like you need to eat something <laughs> no, no they just they, thought you were from a third world country no no they knew that they found out I lost some weight and thought hey you know no wow. he looks great he really does I give him a hard time because I think that his pants are smaller than mine although I will not try them on so I don't have to go into major depression <laughs> right and well that reason and then like what she always says when she asks can I try yours on to see how they fit I know <laughs> she thinks I think she's gonna stretch them out and that's not gonna happen uh, she's smaller than me and uh, so, anyway. But, but I have caught and kept trying my clothes on. Seriously. I have. Well, I wanted to see, like I said, what I would be <laughs> no, in a lady's But size. whatever. Because, you seriously. know, men, you've got, you know, 32s, 33s, 34s. Women, it's like 12, 14, 16. So I'm, I'm about uh, I'm about an 8 or a 10. <laughs> Those are women out there that you know what I'm talking so, about. He, he is wearing my clothes. Uh, occasionally, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we've got a great show, Kim. I, I, I you're gonna have to tell who the guests I are. I know we have the esteemed, esteemed Mayor Tom Rowland with us. Many of you may not know that Joe started or kind of started a few years of, of uh, at WBAC, and then he went to work at WCLE. 
<laughs> when there was only AM. That's how long it was just always been. Not for Tom, not for Tom. He was just a child. But it was WCLE, and Joe worked there at the same time that Mayor Rowland, before his mayor days, worked there. And so we are so worked glad. Worked owned it. Owned it. General owned manager. It. That's right. He was, he was the boss man. He was the boss man. He was man. the boss man. And a very man. good one. And not and just he, because he's sitting here and in my he, That's right. And he put up with Joe and uh, was there for him. And so he's here to talk about old times. So we are so grateful that he had took time out of his schedule, especially this time of year, uh, for your birthday. Well, and also it. Scott Webb um, is so coming. So Scott's here. Well, Scott is not here yet, but I know Scott is coming. Uh, Scott, uh, Scott works at uh, Walker Valley High School. He's the media director out there, and he makes Joe look so good. All the uh, woohoo and all the uh, bells and whistles that you see during Football Friday, the block party, and the Christmas parade. Scott Webb is the one that comes out with a, a piece of equipment that they have, and he works tirelessly with Joe. They have fought like brothers at times. In fact, we right out like in this uh, hallway, they've almost come to, to to blows before. And so I thought I would invite Scott to tell a few things about Joe and the times that You're they have. You're hoping he'll slap set. me around. I'm today. hoping that he'll beat you hard. And then, of course, Ron Moore. Ron's been with Joe since Telecable. If any of you remember Telecable days, I mean, that was a long, long time ago, and Joe has known him right. uh, since then. My father uh, was a part of that. But anyway, he's here to tell truth, lies, in between, and a little bit of everything about Joe and uh, the past 30 or so years mm. that we've known each other. So we've got a great show, Joe, and, and it is all about you. And I know. Gosh, I I, I can know. hardly believe it. I know that you're so excited. I am very excited. So I, I have no idea. In fact, Kim, usually Kim tells me who the guests are going to be. She, she tells me. This is who we have on. <laughs> she didn't do that this week. And uh, today even, earlier this morning, I kept thinking, wow, I wonder who. So a little bit earlier, I, I said, she said, well, they'll be there in just a little bit. And so thinking that James would put the names in of who we have on, I was like, okay. And so that's why she didn't tell me. Joe, so there's a so lot good. of things I don't tell. Oh, I, 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 <laughs> Good hey, Lord, hey, let's I know start that. a list. I know that, but but yeah, and and so and speaking of Ron, like you said, and how I know Ron is through, well, I call him my dad. Tom Rowland is my dad. Now he he doesn't admit it, really. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Really, he doesn't admit it, but then I'm he does. I'm sorry, it. Tom, you just said that out loud. I did. I did. I, I call him dad, and I have for for many years for a lot of reasons. Uh, but uh, he did. He kind of took me under his wing. And <laughs> Dad, most of the time when he asked to borrow money. Right, right. He, <laughs> but he, he always says no. <laughs> he took me under his wing and said, this is how you do things, Palo. Not the way you're doing it. This is the way <laughs> it's done. And But that's how I got to re meet Ron back many, many, many years ago. Right. At the days of CLE. So, See? yeah, it's just a big family thing. It was all happening at CLE. I mean, well, right there you, on was. Keith Street. I mean, I, if you went in there, you were like, you were, the president could have been in there. I mean, absolutely. everybody came through those doors. Everybody Everybody that was somebody came through those doors there at WCLE back And that's why days. you were in the doors a lot, right, honey? I was. I was open. Well, <laughs> Tom had me to have the job of opening the doors for these guys, saying, thank you for coming. I closed the door and wait for them. Thank you for coming in. So I did that for a while. But no, uh, just it's just, it, and, and really, today uh, being, you know, my birthday, it doesn't, you know, when you get older, how it really doesn't feel like, a, you know, when you were a little kid, maybe it's because you got a lot of gifts. Uh, but when you're a little kid, <laughs> your birthday is such, but when you get older, it's like, gosh, it's another one. Well, and you don't look forward to getting older. No, nobody does. No. Well, except when you're little. You right. can't well, wait can't to get wait, older. Right. When you're old, you want to get young again. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, so a great, exciting show today. Thank you so much for joining us on Tennessee Valley this morning on this Wednesday, December the 5th. <laughs> We're going to be back with our guest and more of the show right after this. Stay tuned. Great local sports right here on WTNB East Tennessee Television. Keep up to date on all your Walker Valley sports news Wednesdays with the Walker Valley Sports Zone. Get a behind the scenes look at all the local high school area football with the pregame Thursdays at 10. And it's a Friday night tradition. Football Friday every Friday night at 11 o'clock. Right here on WTNB East Tennessee Television. Logan Thompson, attorneys at law, have built a firm offering quality legal services to the people and businesses of Southeast Tennessee. 
We have achieved expertise in all areas of law in order to represent our clients in a manner they need, deserve, and have come to expect. Logan Thompson, with nine attorneys and an extensive and competent support staff, is available to provide representation in various legal areas, including family law, social security benefits, personal injury, criminal defense, workman's compensation, as well as business and complex litigation matters. At Logan Thompson, we have been building a tradition of legal services for over 40 years. We have developed the finest legal services and are proficient in providing you with representation you can trust. Give us a call at 423-476-2251 to schedule your free consultation. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors. 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790-7100. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. For personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Town Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Don't look for Chevy, Buick, GMC in Athens, it's a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here. Doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Ledford in Athens will save you at least 2,000 bucks. Don Ledford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. Featuring some of the South's most scenic views, the Mountain View Inn has been a landmark in the Cleveland community for over 40 years. Our executive guest quarters with flash screen TVs and excellent bedding will make any guest comfortable. Carrie's Restaurant is one of Cleveland's favorite with one of the best buffets around. Hello, and on behalf of the Hughes family, thank you for so many years of your business and your friendship. This segment of Tennessee Valley This Morning is brought to you by Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland and 2120 Chapman Road, Chattanooga. For your next new or previously owned vehicle, make it Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the better way to buy. Welcome back to Tennessee Valley this morning on this December 5th, Wednesday, my birthday. And uh, we are now joined by our city of Cleveland esteemed mayor, Mayor Tom Rowland. Thank you, Joe. Happy birthday. Thank you so you much know, for coming. You know, when Kim called me, I said, Kim, I'm not getting up that early in the morning, <laughs> not even for Joe, because looking back on Joe's broadcast career, he was never on time. That's very I true. I mean, he came in at 9 o'clock. Actually, it's 3 after, something like that. But the news was on. Yeah, the news was running. He's wearing a silly, some kind of green and white jogging outfit that had, had some <laughs> kind of... Teal and orange. Teal and orange, something crazy like that. And let me say, Joe, for your birthday, I went to some of the sporting goods stores. Oh, wonderful. To get you something from the Miami Dolphins. Oh, terrific. But they only had the major teams, and I couldn't find anything for <laughs> the Dolphins at all for you. Uh, talking about his old days, I'm not going to detail, but we might remember, let's see, he did a Cleveland High School Please don't. football game. <laughs> Please don't. And standing on the back bleacher, well, enough of that. All right. Yeah, enough of that. <laughs> and I got a call from, from the school, and I... And, uh, Went to Larry Joe, Payne. Uh, Dr. Payne. And I said, Joe, I got to call him Larry Payne. Joe said, I did it. <laughs> <laughs> 
So then there was. He told uh, that story on Whoop Radio. I didn't tell it. You know well, who called in on Whoop Radio to tell that story? No. I was not going to throw no. that one out there. But our good friend Larry Ledford, who was our engineer, our, at the our time. chief engineer. <laughs> yes, yes, he was. He called in to remind everybody about that story, mm -hmm. and I hadn't right. talked to Larry since those days. Well, what you don't know, Larry was standing under the stadium, <laughs> 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 so he had a vested interest in that. And we're not going to talk about APD Ford or anything. Else. Right? No, 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 well, Joe, no, 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 no. I, I brought Thank you. you. You know, Joe, when you get an expensive birthday bag, you always have the paper in it. Yeah. Right? So that's the paper. Thank you in, so in the, much. In the bag, and let's I'll see cherish what we, this. What we have here. I wanted to be the first to give you your first Christmas present. Oh, that's an ornament. Let's see if he works. Yeah, it's, oh, well, he, he's supposed to say something. His nose is supposed to light up. Aww. There he is. Oh, there he is, Joe. That's your. Oh, thank that's you so much. That's your first Christmas orbit? present. Yes. And for refreshment time. There's your orbit. Oh, and it's thank sugar free, you. sugar free. Thank you. And this change. was only sixty nine cents. <laughs> yes. And let's see. I know how you and Kim like to eat steak and eat out. Yes, thank you. Three dollar coupon from Longhorn <laughs> wow. for two lunch wow. entrees. Three dollars off. And that's it, and it's perforated, so you didn't really even have to use scissors. No, no, no. That, I, I thought wow. you'd like to eat out that's and great. do that. That's great. Thank you for that. And then I know how you like to travel. I do. And Sandra and I, your mom, and yes. I just got back from Mayberry, Mayberry days. So when you go at your expense okay. next year, <laughs> the last week in September, you won't have to buy a fan. Look There's at your that. fan already, Joe. Oh, thank you so much. Yes. I can use this at the assembly, too, when I get it. Oh, home. yeah, <laughs> yeah. And now, we have ordered you some things that didn't come in. Oh, uh, okay. Roberta Matthews' new Christmas in the Congo album. Oh, I'll be uh, getting, I'll be getting. We, <laughs> we got that from Amazon, and it hasn't come yet. Right. And right. then, I, I guess I can take the credit to announce this. What's that? You have been giving. Oh. An honorary doctorate in the Bernie, Bernie Rubin School of Broadcasting. Oh my goodness, Doctor Palo. No, Bernie I wanted haven't. to come Are you himself. Me? I mean, yeah, Bernie, Bernie wanted Rubin to come himself and bad. bestow that upon you, <laughs> but he he allowed me to do that, and what a what a pleasure. Oh, that I uh, that that yeah. right there just makes the birthday. Now, Are you telling that doesn't mean that we have to play doctor later. <laughs> No, 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 no. You mean and the three of us? Now, there's your card. No oh. birthday without the card. Oh, thank you so much. And I want you to, and, and this is a nice bag that's recyclable. Oh, yeah. I yeah, can that's use recyclable that. bag. No, thank you very much. Now, Joe, that's not a cheap card. No, I can tell. It's you, got you, extra postage required. Well, yeah, and, and you, right till you see the price. Should I open it up for Oh, everyone? yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to open it. All right. It's a beautiful card. It is a beautiful card. And I, it is not. I got oh. up early for this. Yeah, I know. Oh, I'm my goodness. You. Close your eyes and make a wish. All right. It says. Mm -hmm. See, it's magical. It is. <laughs> yeah, it's magical. And then. Oh, look oh, at that. that. Thing. Oh, that's oh, that clever. Thing. Thank that's you that. so you much. Can have that cake and eat it too. Joe, oh, yes. There's no calories in that. Oh, now, that is a wonderful Check the Thank price so on the back, Joe. My mom always well, does that. Right, yeah, I always Walmart. do that too. Oh, look at this, Kim. Now, this must have been, uh, they it's, bought it's this at a. Canada, bought it in Canada. Yeah, because oh. that was scratched out and the price of twenty one ninety five mm -hmm. was written. There. The original price was, was marked through and that's the sale price, but it's yeah. still a very expensive card. Oh, thank you very much. Yeah. You, you're not lying. I mean, with something that. Well, it had been in the store a long time. You can see on the edge where it's sort of gotten brown. Right well, and you know, and you know what I'm thinking? The fact that I just played this over the microphone on the air, we have to give royalties. Oh now yeah, because yeah, yeah, yes, yes. I wrote the song. <laughs> um, Joe mentioned <laughs> that, so that, that he calls me dad. I call him son too. Yes. Uh, a lot of people don't know the history of this. No, that's true. When Joe was born to his biological parents, mm -hmm. they gave him up as soon as they saw him <laughs> for adoption. You said that's your mother's happy state. It was when she found <laughs> when she placed you in foster care. Yes. And uh, she, she, she really didn't want to do it. And she looked at you the second time, <laughs> and she told your dad, "If we don't do it, the mafia will." Because you know these were New Jersey people. You, New, well, New York. Oh, New York, New Jersey, yeah. across the, the yeah. rivers, the, right. the right. main right. thing. Yeah. And so um, Sandra and I adopted Joe. Yes. And we started looking at him, and we gave him back. <laughs> <laughs> we took him back to uh, human services right. in in, uh, in New York. Yes. And. Uh, they tried once again to reunite you with your biological parents, and they just put their foot down. And well, you, they changed your name. Well, yeah, they did that too, Apollo or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. totally and different. And so your dad says, you bring him in here again, I'll put my foot down right on his head. <laughs> and, you know, Joe, when you were born, your head was 
crooked on one side. <laughs> yes, it was. And uh, you weren't the best appearing baby in the world. No, 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 no. But uh, you, you survived. You I survived. Have. You, you got Kim. Right. Well, he stayed in human services until I was 17. Well, then you adopted him. <laughs> and yeah. then they made me take yeah. him. I'm like, I'm not even legal. I'm not even 18. No. They said, you will be in a month. Well, he yeah. doesn't worry about that. <laughs> right, no. No. <laughs> no, not at but all. <laughs> what about this weather this morning? I'm telling you, does it feel like it's December? No. Well, it's 34 degrees. Well, I mean, I guess, you know. it's not that it's that cold. And, no, it and, doesn't and, feel that cold. It feels cool. More like the fall of the year. That's yes. what I'm saying. Yeah. And we're right here at Christmas time. Mm -hmm. and. And the fact of having you here, just this brightens up my, my birthday Oh, I'm sure it does. And, my, and the whole month. And this remember, in Cleveland, we don't say happy holidays. Right. We say Merry Christmas. That's exactly That's right. right. And yeah. we mentioned that, that on the parade. We mentioned that on the parade. Not only that, that but we call mayor. it a Christmas tree. We say it's a Christmas tree, not just a holiday tree. Yeah, like a Christmas tree. And like you do your Christmas shopping, not your holiday shopping. Exactly. Right. And we say Merry Christmas. Yes, we yeah, do. Yeah, I always do that. And when you bring my gifts, I expect you to say Merry Christmas. Oh, and, you know, we'll and you know what? It. And I'll just give you a little bit. I've got a little ornament for you I'm going to give you. I think I've got a little bit oh, no, of, Joe, of some, this, no, some gum. No, giving a gift to you is not required <laughs> uh, to, to return something to me. Oh. It's not, not at all. Oh, I know that. I, I know that. But I, but I want to. Uh, you know, and, and we must say, you celebrated a birthday not too long ago. Thanksgiving Day is a holiday. That's exactly on the calendar, right. my birthday number is in red. You're right. Now, now, let me tell you, though, that's because we've talked about it. That's like one of the earliest we've had Thanksgiving, which was the 22nd. Because usually it's like later in the month, isn't it? 27th, 28th, Well, yeah, 29th. Thanksgiving is usually later. It came early. But, this right, was, came early just, this for, was you. A just for you. This was a presidential proclamation thing. <laughs> yeah. Came, well, right. came early that on way. Your, on your day. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, but see, Mayor Hey, what Tom about the, the Lee Singers going to yes. Washington? I was with them last Monday. Yes. And uh, with the voices, and the voices are going to be part of this group of, I think, of 300 singers. Yeah. I know. We are, they, and they are such a talented group. I mean, any one of their choirs could sing, but can you imagine oh, when they put all together, together the yeah, 300, all of, all of them it's together. going to be amazing. In fact, I think um, they're talking, Dr. Green said like three or four tour buses going, uh, going to Washington for the inauguration. Four tour buses and a van. And a van. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's Danny, be, Danny's van, Danny right. Murray. That's going to be awesome, though, to be represented there at the. It's going to be awesome to drive in that traffic up there. Right? Yeah, that's oh, yeah, true. They're <laughs> driving around they, in a circle. I submit they need a driver for each bus. Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't don't do it. Don't don't tow them up. Yeah, there like I mean, that. you could put them all together with uh, a you chain. Don't want to yeah. share. Saves a little bit of gas that way, though. Hey, you were talking about people who came into WCLE. I I was. Uh, was Governor funny. McWhorter came in one time. Yes, Governor and you opened McWhorter. the door for him and slammed it when you when you <laughs> walked in. You didn't hold the door too long. Well, he was a big man. And and, and or is I'm, a big I'm man. trying to think of the guy, squeaky guy, got married on on the Tonight Show. Uh, ukulele. Uh, ukulele. Yes. Uh, Tiptoe through Tim. the tulips. Oh yeah, tulips. Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim, Tim came in there. one yes, morning. We, yes. we talked. We talked That's to right. him. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Still looked almost the same. Hair long like that. Just a little. Didn't older. change very much. No. Didn't no. change very much. Still way he up always there. looked like he did and, and, hard. And Vince Vance came in to borrow some hairspray from you. That's right. The day the <laughs> That's exactly came, right. Came That's right. You know, and, and you know, one of the funny stories that people always ask me about, and of course, as we we talk about the the uh, the Cleveland ball game. But I also like to remin reminisce and talk about the days when we used to do the Coca-Cola traffic reports. I remember one day, school <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, Joe did the report. Joe said, traffic's as heavy as normal at Okoe Middle School this morning. Uh, please be careful going through the school zone. I said, Joe, school's out today. <laughs> but, uh, but in case some of the students forgot that it was out right. and came to school and created a traffic problem. Exactly, which there was that day because I was out and about in traffic. Oh, yeah, you're in the next room. I mean, you can see good when you can see that. And the, and the helicopter sound is so good. There. Yeah, just off the chest. Yeah, I yeah. mean, there's a lot of radio is, is is. And you remember Bernie erased all the promos from the country music stars. Were you there then? At Bernie, yes, uh, I yes, do. Yes. yes, yes, I do remember that. He said, "Do I need to go to Nashville and get some more?" <laughs> well, well, Bernie, Patsy Cline's not there anymore, and then. Uh, Few people like that. that. Those were the days. They were the fun days. They really, really were. The fact, only, the only bad thing about it, if somebody didn't show up for a shift, somebody had to cover that shift. Don't do that anymore. No, it's all exactly. automated now. I know. Push a button and exactly. play. I mean, we had the little forty fives and and had the thirty three RPM. If you want to get fancy. It, well, that's true. You played well, El Paso. If you had to go to the bathroom. 
That's exactly right. <laughs> that See, about, that's right. About 11, that, that 11 or 12 long. minutes long. Hardline sat on Joe's lap. Well, he said, yes. came in when he was a tiny well, little Well, Tom thing. used to let him have him well, come in. Well, and, and I, Steve came in with his report card, and I read it on the air, mm-hmm. and he didn't want his grandfather, Rep. Littlefield, to hear that, and he did. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't, the grades were not good at all. No. Well, Steve mm-hmm. was a talker even in school. <laughs> yeah, he talked yeah. his way out of school. Exactly. Too, yeah. <laughs> That's why he graduated from Lee. He just talked his way out of school. He wanted to, they wanted to move him on. <laughs> but we are, we're proud of Steve, what he's done with that, t- with that radio station. WCLA. Oh, yeah, he's done well. I mean, he really has. He's done and, well. And I remember, because I think back in the day when he was real little and he'd come up to the station, you did tell him. You said, now, when you turn 16, I will give you a job. And it was like his 16th birthday. He started working on Saturday morning, I believe. Uh, that's right. He came mm-hmm. to work. And and was and did a great job back then. Of course, he's always sounded like right. he does now. Right, his voice now. has not changed. No. no, no, he hadn't changed. I used to tell him when he was eight years old, little little Steve Hartline would say on stage, he'd put his hands in his pocket. Yes. I'd say, Steve, that's not good stage presence. And and he still does it. Yes. If you notice when Steve's on a stage, it's one pocket and then another pocket. Yeah, he does. It keeps his hands from, from moving it around. It wants to be sure he's still got his money in his well, pocket. Right. Well, he does, picks does his pocket. Well, and he has done well. Yeah, he has. And, of course, you know, I remember the days when he would come dressed up like uh, Yankee Doodle Dandy and sing in the 4th of July. And his oh, yeah. His mother would play the little electric mm-hmm, piano. And mm-hmm. he would. And, and Steve was kind of like the. Uh, now, his and, mother's something else. Oh. and well, just, Since she got fired from Waterville School, she hadn't been herself. No, which, really? which is not good. No, no, I didn't know that. She's, you know, she's a nice person. Don't yeah, you are right. We'll just uh, leave it at that. Lois Ann's a nice person. Right. But <laughs> you, you can't concentrate on a conversation. Exactly. You know what I mean. Yeah. Right, right. Totally, <laughs> totally understand. Yeah. Totally yeah. understand. And, uh, and Steve's got a little bit of that now, I think. Steve's getting that a lot. Yeah. Yes, yeah, he is. He is. <laughs> what else I've noticed is Steve is joining the, the club of the older men that seems to get the little... Yes, a little spot, a little spot there. in the back of the head, <laughs> mm-hmm. you know. Joe's got some of that spray color paint. That it's black uh, spray paint that, that, that puts the twine. <laughs> there <puts the> <laughs> you shoot it, yeah, shoot it when you get in there. Do that. So. But no, it. it I, I have to say that working at WCLE was probably the best time of my, if you call it a career in radio or television of my career. I just, I enjoyed that. What I enjoyed so much was this time of year. When Ron Gentry and I mm-hmm. would carry around that money tree. Oh, yeah. Uh, Cowboy wouldn't carry it. No, he mm-hmm. wouldn't carry it. Too heavy. It, it was too mm-hmm. heavy, but we had to carry it to different locations and let people see and register for it. And what I enjoyed. I remember one time, the sponsor called and said, where's my money tree yesterday? And well, Joe, Joe says, you know, it's still in the trunk of the car. I forgot <laughs> to take it to him. So we had to do a makeup day on that. It was a makeup, makeup day. It was a busy man time. But what, busy, what, busy I, what I enjoyed yeah. is yeah, yeah, yeah. when we would give those trees away, you know, everybody would put their, their entries into this big hopper. We had a big hopper. We'd yeah, oh, turned it, it rolled it, yeah. And we'd, Squirrel we'd, cage. Yeah, and we'd reach our hand <laughs> in and pull a name out. And, some, you know, sometimes it'd be, okay. Yeah. <laughs> no. no, we always yeah. pulled out. This the first is a sponsor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do it that way. <laughs> the first one, and that was the truth. It, we, there was no funny business. We put, our, in fact, we usually had somebody to do that, close their eyes, and whatever they pulled out, that was that, the was, it. that was it. That won. And mm-hmm. uh, that was a great. But we'd get somebody who couldn't read. And, then, and so we could call the name. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's mom and them that won that. Won that. Now, does, does WCLE, they don't do that anymore. No, they don't. We need to talk to Steve about that. That was a that was a. He does something, but I just don't listen to that station. I yeah, don't know. I, stocking phone. That's yeah, more. something like that. That was something that was that. In fact, what used to be exciting about that as well is we always started that right after Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. Empty stocking fund. Mm-hmm. I think now he starts it later on. He didn't start it right after Thanksgiving. No, he started then. it after Thanksgiving. Yeah. Right after. Yeah, yeah okay. I think the Monday, right. the Monday after. Yeah. Right. But we were like that next day, that Friday. I mean, we mm-hmm. were we were on the air and raising all. Well, kinds we worked of, on Thanksgiving Day. That's true. We didn't take time now, off. No, that wasn't That's we, Tom, was it? That was him. No, no, Tom, Tom was there too, I think, <laughs> yeah, for a couple yeah, minutes. For a couple uh, minutes yeah. to bring you a plate. But I, I couldn't afford to uh, let Joe be there during, but, prime, right. during <laughs> prime time. And what about the Friday morning breakfast? Oh. Uh, came from the Townhouse Bake Shop. Yes. There'd be about three of them. And eggs and bacon and sausage mm. and gravy and biscuits. Mm. But donuts every day. Yes. I know. Every single day. And the wonderful thing about the breakfast on Fridays is at that particular time, uh, well, what, uh, some of that particular time, Tom was on a, a very strict diet at that time. And you really wouldn't eat the breakfast. You would eat a piece of the tomato or two. 
Yeah. And that was it. And maybe so, some of the gravy. Maybe some of the gravy. To wash the tomato down. Exactly. Yeah, that's what that was And for. then I was lucky enough to eat all three breakfasts. And then the donuts, I would eat the outside off right. the glaze and right. you'd finish the donut. I would. You'd and lick it all off and not, then I would finish it. We did not waste the food by no, doing that No, we at did all. not. A lot of people starving. You can't do yeah. that. But yeah, in fact, I still talk to Scotty Gilbert about that. He remembers bringing that little by. Scotty. When he was, little, little Scotty. Well, he was little Scotty. Mm -hmm. Now he's, he's big Scotty. Yeah, little Eddie and little Scotty. Little Eddie. Hey, the postman who delivers downtown. Yes. Very nice man. He gets mail, delivers mail for WCLE 33 Okoy Street. My goodness. No. Gave kidding. me gave me one the other day. And I to gave this day? To this day. And 33 Okoy Street is where Bill Brown's office is now. Mm -hmm. Carl right. Hoskins used to have his office. No, right. it was downstairs. Right, okay. That's before upstairs. Oh, okay. At 65 Okoy Street. Right, right. So that had been 50 years ago. Oh, my goodness. Wow. So he still delivers the mail. And he made sure it got delivered to the right person. I said, I'll take it to Steve. <laughs> <laughs> and it was something from the state. Some state about, right, about, the IRS well, or something. No, it's, from, it, it from, from the FCC, I no, believe. No, it's from the state to fill this out and send in for your public service announcements for some part of the state government. Oh, okay. Ah. And so, Joe, you and Kim came to see me when I was laid up. Yes. A corpse almost. Yes. And I appreciate that. And it was lucky. You always come about lunchtime. Yeah. You came in because okay. nobody in there eats all the food. Right. right. And, Very true. Uh, you just eating away, weren't you? I, I, it I was so. delicious. Ha, yeah. I think he had your jello. He had the jello, yeah, had the and, jello. And, and I couldn't have the jello with the fruit in it. You had to right, light right, that. Right. And, right. right. <laughs> but you enjoyed that time there in, uh, with mm -hmm. the wonderful people you got to kind of uh, rub elbows with oh, there. Oh, yeah. And you, yeah. Played, look, you played cards and bingo and stuff, didn't you? Mitchell and I would come over, and we'd, we'd look at shuffleboard plans. Oh, just yeah. Just imagine we had it. We didn't. Yeah. We'd just look at the plan <laughs> and try to do that. <laughs> And it was it was a solemn occasion, wasn't it? Yes, it was very very yeah, was. solemn. Well, we're glad you're okay. Oh, very yes. Well, right? it was solemn when you took my wheelchair away. Yeah. And you, start, <laughs> you start riding, yeah, down the hallway and uh, singing and everything. But we left you the crutches. Yeah, That's you right. did. You did. That was very nice. We did. We did. We did. We did. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, thank you for coming. Does this mean I'm through? No, no, no. Oh, yeah, well, you I've can stay out. No, no, no. Have some cake and no. We got cake and has anybody gotten you a Christmas gift yet? No. Nobody else That's has. That's your first one. This is my first one. And, and what I about your steak night? This, oh, this is what, I mean, it's all, all wonderful. And, and just as important as the paper and See, the bag. Any distinguished Christmas bag. Our birthday oh, bag has paper in it. Absolutely. Yeah. And and that's what when I saw that I thought he spared no expense. This he you spent some money on this stuff. This well, the not, I mean the card alone was yeah, twenty two bucks. Uh, this is not free, Joe. <laughs> I, know, I, I had some S and H green stamps for you. I mean, but the, uh, I didn't have he's a book. The mayor now first. what's Scott gonna do on his segment? That I don't know. Scott, I think mm -hmm. if he, he may reminisce as well about some. Now, Scott and I don't, don't go back as far as you know, yeah. me with well, the Scott's bleachers not that old. and all yeah. that. Right. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but Scott and I have some, uh, some things that, that have, have happened. Have you been up in the bleachers at Walker Valley? I haven't yet. Okay. Uh, you need to try it. Well, you know, and you got, well, I plan to, but I have to wait for a nice rainy evening again yeah. because that's what yeah. kind of camouflages everything. Although it didn't. Mm -hmm. Well, it did. It wear just your, so happened to wear your raincoat. Right. Everybody, <laughs> Everybody else, wear you your wear your raincoat. Yeah. <laughs> oh but goodness! It's been nice being with Kim. Well, and I appreciate now, you Christmas coming. Now, Christmas in the Congo. That's going to be her best album yet. Roberta's. Mm -hmm. Yes. In fact, She'll she be is here coming the 17th. out. And I'm well, so excited. Well, she's going to do a tour and she for this and promote she's this album. Pr promoting that album. And I love and the costume she's got for it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bongo drums and all like that. Yeah, so. and she and of course she knows how to play them. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah she wouldn't I be think she played now. eleven instruments on that entire album. Yeah, mm -hmm. and and each one just by ear. Mm -hmm. I think all maybe four or five well, at one doing time. Doing that guitar with her ear, she <laughs> made it bleed one time, and then she she does the comb with the tissue paper on it. Yes, that's because she's got a whole. Two of the songs are just instrumentals doing that. Yes, and mm -hmm. that's exactly. And I'm you know you mm -hmm. you've listened to the to a little bit of the album then before. And then what I liked was her album. Humming the hits of Gene Autry. They were, that was a good one. Yes, well, definitely. <laughs> humming is always good. <laughs> yeah, she does good with it. Yeah. Oh, goodness gracious. Well, I do. I do appreciate you coming well, by. Well, I'm going to go back gifts. and take about an hour nap. Yeah, because you got to start a big day cake. today. Yeah, a big we day today. Cake. Yeah, you got to have some cake. You got to have cake. I mean, it's. Well, I hate to go cut your cake. That's right. quite all right. You, you got the cake and. Uh, yes, please, please. 
So that, that is a beautiful cake. That is, is a beautiful that cake. That came mm -hmm. from townhouse, and they did it in dolphin colors just for Joe because well, no, I would no like, one else is wearing dolphin. I colors. do want to get you something for the dolphins, but like I say, they had only the major NFL teams. Yeah, and I, 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 I couldn't find. Yeah. After yesterday, I was I was a little. I could Sunday. probably understand Sunday. I should say I could probably understand that. You've uh, always liked the Falcons, haven't you? <laughs> no. Uh, now I do know. You won't even say that. No, much. I do know that uh, that that Steve's a big Falcon fan. Oh, he is. Yeah. Even the many years they didn't win any games. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. That's a true fan. That's a true fan. That is. You know. Uh, well, he didn't he, talk he, about it. Steve's limited. You know, Atlanta is the closest city with an NFL team other than Nashville, and Atlanta's a little closer than Nashville. So Steve just doesn't get out much. Sure. Yeah. So that's. And you know, the Nashville and, team, right. the, the Titans really are really, really the Houston, Houston Oilers. Oilers. They're not yes, really. Yes, yes. Right. They're not really. You know, if you want to root for Houston. But, well, thank you so much well, for being here. Well, thank you for letting me share I your do birthday appreciate with you. It. Thank you so and, very and much. And I, I saved up a little bit for this. And, and you know, for a friend, what the heck. I, and I want you to Spend tell mom, it. thank you so much for the card, the expensive $22 card. This beautiful uh, ornament. Christmas, uh, well, Christmas present. The expensive present. Orbit gum. That's not just any gum. That's no, not, that's, that's Orbit. 69 cents. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And, and then and your, the paper. And then steak out. And the, yeah, and well, I mean, out. forgetting that. And yeah. your, your Mayberry fan. It's like you're paying for $3 of my meal already. Yeah, already. And you can leave that for gratuity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then what about your fan? Oh, the fan. And the priceless. fan. And again, I'm going to use this at the assembly because sometimes, you know, it gets hot. Oh, have, it does. They have no. Are they, they still over on Central Avenue? Yeah, they're still yeah, over there. Yeah. Yes, it's still over there every every year. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, in fact, sometimes we go there and there's nothing around. I don't know if it's just gotten smaller, but we just sit there ourselves, Kim and I, just right next there. to MC Hedricks, over right there, there and just go That's like this. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you're you're very loyal, very loyal. Yes. You I know, am. the first time I ever went, your dad took me. Did he? He sure did. To the he, assembly. He met me at the front door. I hadn't been in Cleveland very long. And we went upstairs uh -huh. in a little area, and he just said, "Enjoy yourself," and I did. That's See, right. and it, it was a of course, and, and you, you know, told me he was me. perfect. Every day that he's passed, he's more perfect. <laughs> Every day that since well, he's well, been gone, he gets more perfect. But well, he more was perfect. perfect to me. But he was perfect. Yeah, he was perfect to me. He was ve did. very, very good mm -hmm. man. And and of course, you you enlightened me when I first moved here about the gentlemen, of course, when they would sell their wares during the assembly on the side of the road, you were telling me about that tent set up where they were selling those old fire burnt bricks from the old tabernacle. Oh, that, yes, yes. You know? Well, one time my dog had puppies during the assembly. I couldn't get rid of them. I guess it's all right to say that. I, I called them Tomlinson Terriers, and I went down on Key Street and gave them all away. See, it just happens like and that. And I gave the registration papers <laughs> to them, too. <laughs> there you go. Well, those days are gone now. Of course, the uh, assembly yeah. no longer here. But but those, those were fun times, too. But I do thank you so this much. This show is coming. in color, isn't it? On this, on this particular set, oh, it is. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> we're I'm still analog. Enjoy, like I said, I hate to get up so early. I know. But I appreciate you, you getting up to come here. And the weather's terrible. There was a day when you got up real <laughs> early every day. Yes, and it but, was easy back then. Yeah. You didn't except have to dress you. up. No, no, no Joe couldn't right. make it by night. Jim, <laughs> thank you, darling. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Joe, thank and you, happy Dad. birthday. Thank I hope you, so you have much. so many, many more. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Our esteemed mayor, Mayor Tom Rowland, my dad, our friend, and now a guest on Tennessee Valley this morning with us. We're going to be back with more. we got Scott Webb and Ron Moore in the house when we return right after this. Stay tuned. Town Americana, where trucks are big and bold, and a handshake is firm, and your word is gold. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens is a $2,000 drive. Maybe you're coming from here or here. Doesn't matter. Buying a truck from Don Lefford in Athens will save you at least $2,000. Don Lefford Chevy Buick GMC in Athens, a $2,000 drive worth making. I'll take that drive every time. Hello, I'm Bill Odom. Hi, and I'm Tammy Odom. We want to invite you to join us on Joyous Living Today for interviews, testimonies, and gospel music by special guests and Dixie Sunshine. Right here on WTNB, Sundays at 4 p.m. and Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. You don't want to miss it. Jesus, Jesus, the light of the world. At Crawford Pharmacy, we offer custom compounding. Our pharmacists are known for their attention to detail and unique expertise. So visit us at 2260 Chambliss Avenue, Cleveland, Tennessee. 
for personal assistance, walk right in or come up to our convenient drive through Crawford Pharmacy, serving our community one person at a time. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast in Cleveland is the place to find quality pre-owned cars and trucks. Kyle offers on-the-spot financing on all vehicles on the lot. Each pre-owned vehicle goes through a complete inspection to make sure each car and truck meets the Kyle Motors standard. Warranty and extended warranties available on all vehicles. Kyle Motors will sell you a car or truck that you will be proud to drive for many years to come. See Tony, Bill, Dale, James, or David and let them put you in your next quality pre-owned vehicle. Kyle Motors, 802 20th Street Southeast, phone 790-7100. Logan Thompson, Attorneys at Law, have built a firm offering quality legal services to the people and businesses of Southeast Tennessee. We have achieved expertise in all areas of law in order to represent our clients in a manner they need, deserve, and have come to expect. Logan Thompson, with nine attorneys and an extensive and competent support staff, is available to provide representation in various legal areas, including family law, social security benefits, personal injury, criminal defense, workman's compensation, as well as business and complex litigation matters. At Logan Thompson, we have been building a tradition of legal services for over 40 years. We have developed the finest legal services and are proficient in providing you with representation you can trust. Give us a call at 423-476-2251 to schedule your free consultation. Featuring some of the South's most scenic views, the Mountain View Inn has been a landmark in the Cleveland community for over 40 years. Our executive guest quarters with flat screen TVs and excellent bedding will make any guest comfortable. Carrie's Restaurant is one of Cleveland's favorite with one of the best buffets around. Hello and on behalf of the Hughes family, thank you for so many years of your business and your friendship. This segment of Tennessee Valley This Morning is brought to you by Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, located at 511 South Lee Highway in Cleveland and 2120 Chapman Road, Chattanooga. For your next new or previously owned vehicle, make it Crown Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram, the better way to buy. Welcome back to Tennessee Valley this morning on WTMB. Joe Palo here. As you can see, my wife and Tom have left. They they went to go get something to eat. Here, I wanted to double uh, uh, what Tom spent. I'm going to give you a dollar. No, $1. you. To, oh, you know, look at and, this. And I, and, you know, I felt, you know, I, I it took me a long time to really come up with what would be the perfect gift. So I, I, I got you this Cleveland State Community College mm -hmm. pen. Scott, this is Just too much. It, I think I'm going to break down. Yeah. This is a beautiful pen. That's a beautiful dollar bill. But now understand. Now, now, it does it, now it, I know it, it, it I pales in comparison <laughs> to the, the Orbit gum and the, yeah, I got the a, bag a, and the paper. And then I got a $3 off coupon. Doc, I mean, hey, you can't Mayor just get, Tom. You can't just get those anyway. That's, that's like him giving me $3 towards my meal already. I mean, look at that. I, I, this, you know, this has just been a wonderful day. As you can see, I'm joined by two more of my very, very good friends, Scott Webb and, of course, Ron Moore. We're Football Friday guys, and today they've come to surprise me on my birthday today. My wife set this up. How, how wonderful is that? Well, yeah, it is wonderful. I, but when I, when I got the call, I, I said, man, how bad is it if, if she's calling me to come here and talk good things about Joe Taylor? So, we well, I, we I, I couldn't find anybody on. else. No. So I'm like... <laughs> But the, well, I got nothing else to do today, so I'll. I and guess. that's what's so good about it. I mean, well, if, I, if you had something else, you probably would do it. But since you didn't, you're able to be here, and that's what makes well, it that so Well, just, that just goes, I just wanted to, you know, tell you that's from the bottom of my heart how happy I am to be Yeah, I can tell. Here. It's just you're yeah. overflowing. Same thing with Ron. Of course, Ron's here each week, and Ron comes here just yeah, all bubbly. Yeah, and, and I wanted to talk to you about that, because I don't, I don't understand why Ron gets to be here every week, and, and I don't get but. Uh, well, this is, but it is your birthday. No, no, and, and I like you to. The thing is, this Ron always has some good information of history <laughs> that he'll either know good for to be factual, truthful. I don't know what he said, or he'll make it was, up. I don't, you don't have anything to say. 
Right. Yeah, or he'll make good stuff well, up. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's a, you know. Well, that's why you do history, because most of those people are dead. Yeah, and they don't know if it's the truth yeah. or not. We, we talk about Tom some, the Mayor, Mayor Tom there, you know. We have. You know, he's on that upper end of that scale there. Yes, and, and, and Mayor Tom, of course, when we talked, we were on Whoop Radio, we talked a little bit about when I was on Old Town Cleveland with you and your lovely yes. wife, Debbie, we talked about Mayor Tom. And, and I know the mayor will remember that the tabernacle is not there because him and I actually guarded the two people at Burn It uh, and took them up and down the <laughs> stairs there. And, so, uh, well, now he was the one that told me about the bricks that were being sold. And I, and, and you know, you got to remember at the time I'm in my early 20s. I didn't 20s. know what he was doing there with the trunk open. <laughs> what, not exactly. Yeah, I was going, well, and what, selling those he bricks. Said, he said in case there was ice coming. Right. That uh, they could put those bricks in there and it would look. There's a reason for everything. There you go. But uh, I'm so glad you guys... He drives a Hummer now. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? Uh, I'm so glad you guys have, have decided to come. And, of course, like I said, Ron's here this week, but that you've come to be on today. Today is, you know, my birthday. And not that it's a, you know, it's, it's, a, it's not just a big, big one. It's just a bigger one. But, uh, you know, it's my whole month I celebrate well, I this. I want to so. talk about the, the history of some of your history, but Tom told it all. You know, I mean, the legendary... Cleveland High School incident where, but you know, John, that's the only time he has that problem. <laughs> yeah. We were sitting the here doing time. a show one day live <laughs> and James brought a close up over to uh, Kim and I and Joe jumped up like a little boy, <laughs> grabbed that area and ran out like a little boy, go to the bathroom. And I stopped right in the middle of the, I couldn't, I went, I just froze because I didn't know what, I, so I finally got my bearings going back. Then you come running back in over here. <gasps> so, as you get older, this problem's going to get worse. It, it, yes. Oh, I know. And I don't know what we will do. See, the, the, the de well, what I'm thinking is that... Enter the travel I've, companion. I, well, I've got to stop. I've got to stop. I, I, I carry around a little thing you get in the hospital just in case. Yeah. Because, you know, but, but what it is is I drink a lot of water, and you add that to the problem of my age now, and... You're, yeah, you know, it's every older, five so minutes. But yeah, you've you always, had, this, those you've you know always had this problem. Yes, I have. You, you, I have. you may have on record the smallest bladder. <laughs> Thank you for clearing that up. <laughs> Thank you for clearing I'm, that up, Ron. Finishing I'm definitely that glad statement. that you finished that sentence. <laughs> right. I, Thank goodness we didn't just cut off right wow. after you said that. But no, it is. I, show, yeah. <laughs> I think you're right. Um, but it, it has. It's always been that way. I don't know if it's nerves or if it's, uh, you know, the age thing, if it's the water thing. But but it's like, you know, just right through. But, you know, that's a, another story for another day. Uh, but, wow. There's people on the edge of their seats. Oh, right, right now. now. They're like, tell <laughs> us more. Is, this is good TV right yeah, here. Yeah, tell us more. early in the morning while they're <laughs> yeah. drinking their coffee and eating their donut. Um, but, uh, but let's talk about some of the things that we've, we've all kind of experienced here. You know, the football Friday thing's a big thing we do every well, week. Well, I had a good football Friday, but we can't tell that either. Which one? <laughs> uh, that, <laughs> no. Yeah, we probably Let me can't. tell you, the, the ratings for football Friday would triple if they got to see the after show or the in-between commercial right. break show. Absolutely. Or if you come back from commercial and. Absolutely. Joe asked a certain question, and I explained it off camera. Right, and then you have to, you know, then the camera's on, and then you have to just go on with what you were planning I on saying. Scott did an amazing job that day, though, that night, I should say. Yes, of keeping composure? Yeah, he kept his composure. Didn't talk. But no, it's probably because I was... He just looked forward. To, <laughs> but uh, Travis uh, sort of had on his baseball cap and... Baseball did that number way all the way down and, and joe yeah. just looked at me and it was i was in you know and it was like okay you gotta you gotta just right now get it under control and and continue on which we did thank goodness we got through that and one. the last show I, I i've already seen damon i says it was joe's ideal to call you at 12 15 oh, and wake boy. you up and i i it, when he answered it was kind of like oh but i did tell him earlier in the day we would be calling so i didn't say it would be that late but but anyway, but we got all the coaches in, so that was good. And what a great year we had it was a with good our team. It was a you good year. You know, it's a it's 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 high school football is such a great thing, and there's such a ups, you know, there's such a, a proud tradition in this area, and a lot of people are Absolutely. happy with their teams, and you know, it's just it's it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to cover it and, and spend the evening every Friday night for <laughs> for, for three months uh, with you guys. Yeah, I said that. Did I look serious enough when I said Oh that? yeah, you look like you were really serious about that. Well, I, get, I have to get up on Saturday morning and go do a radio show, so you know I'm going. And 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 what? And let me tell you something, folks. Every Friday, without fail, 
these guys are here for that show every Friday, unless maybe they're out of town or the mm -hmm. game or, but Scott, Scott missed, you missed maybe, was it once, maybe two, one or two weeks because he had surgery, yeah, right? I missed, and I, missed one. I did miss one. Yeah. You missed one. And then he's back the very next week. I came in with uh, wet underwear before too. Now you have, that is true. I remember that. Yes. And we talked about that the, the rainy, rainy games. Yeah, the rainy games. And That's dedication right there. there. See? I've come in with wet underwear before, too. Because you didn't make it. Because <laughs> I didn't make it. Right. right. Yeah. But that's another story, too. But you know, Joe, I, uh, you know, to give you some praises, you know, it's, uh, this station does a lot for the community, and, and you and Kim do a great job. And adding Scott here with the things he has to do. Uh, just an amazing uh, local programming now, the parade. I sit at home and watch the parade. And it got over just in time for me to switch over and watch the high school football camp. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, you do a great job, and uh, we're glad you brought it to the community. And uh, like you and many others, Tom Rowland's been uh, very uh, active in helping all of our careers. And so, hey, thanks yes, to him, absolutely. and, and you, uh, you're a proud student of his, and uh, really great. To, it, uh, happy birthday to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much. I do appreciate that. And you're and, right. And, and Scott, I'm, I'll say the same thing on his birthday, too. Exactly. I will, too. I will, yeah. too. No. I want to know if I can get, can I get my own show on my birthday. You can get your own show. We can give it to you. It doesn't have to be your birthday. We'll right. give you your own show. Well, you got. You can do all that fancy. You just do this fancy stuff with all that gear and stuff. Yeah. It's so good. You Scott, know. Scott really, Kim's right. He does make us look really good. And a lot, James, a lot, a lot, yeah, James a lot, in there, too. A lot better than... Yes. <laughs> With James a, a Dunn and, and Scott really are, and you so. guys, it's yeah. <laughs> great television. And, and, and what I think it is really, uh, uh, and of course we're trying to be serious here, but a lot of that, if there, and I probably don't, we probably don't do as much as we should community-wise, we probably need to do a lot more, but a lot of that community-mindedness comes from the times I spent at WCLE because they, WCLE was a community-minded station. Everything that we did there was, and that they still do, uh, was based on making the community a better place. Well, just look at some of the people you worked with there. Cowboy. Yes. Brad Evans. Little Philly. <laughs> right. And uh, George. Yes. Uh, gosh. George Carpenter. Yeah. Uh, Bernie Rubin. Bernie Rubin. Uh, uh, Tony McKenzie. Tony McKenzie, yes. Uh, the Voice. Tony the Voice. McKenzie. Ellen Calfee. Yeah. Uh, Kathy, Kathy Archer, Urshery. Right. Uh, Sharon Marr, which right. was Sharon Odom at the time. Uh, started uh, there, uh, right out of school. Um, there was so many. Ron Gentry. To, I learned to do radio on the JC radio program that we had once a year that the CLE give us Saturday morning, and we go in and just pretended to be disc jockeys. And we I were very bad about it. I remember interviewing Jim Price and him saying, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> and he said, I said, that was a great interview. We'll be back after the <laughs> commercial. I do. I remember the JC program. Yes. It was like at 10 o'clock in the morning or something. No, was yeah, once a year on a Saturday morning, we'd come in and we'd take over for about two hours. We sold the ads and we yeah. got to keep that money. It was a small fundraiser and a way for us to get the JC story out. And, and of course, that was another thing that, mm -hmm. that uh, Mayor Tom and WCLE did. Uh, with and the, then uh, Tom and I uh, worked together when we had WCLE on Channel 13, the, uh, the channel. Yes. So you guys were on there uh, under that. and. Uh, uh, we always, that was a selling point. Yes. Go out and sell advertising and say, look, if you're a wife at home, you're cleaning, a mother, wife, you're cleaning, put Channel 13 on, you're listening to WCLE on your TV. So that was the first, I think, of, of uh, radio or radio being on television, as it were. Of course, now, whoop, you go on with the green screen and you're on on the Internet streaming live right. everywhere, too. And some days, almost everything works. <laughs> yeah. Well, and speaking of things that work in, in streaming... This gentleman right here with what is going on at Walker Valley High School and the stuff. Well, and when, when Ron was talking, you know, it kind of, you know, a lot of those things that they talked about being able to do the program that, you know, Joe and, and I don't and I don't say this enough. You know, I want to thank Joe for the opportunity of what we do at, out at Walker Valley. We get the opportunity to broadcast a, a weekly show during the during the school year, the Walker Valley Sports Zone. And and, and I have other students that help him and are involved with that. So it, it gives them a taste of of television and it's it's a unique opportunity that not a lot of schools get the opportunity to do and anytime I say Joe look I need to get a show on the air or I need to do this or I need to do that you know this man's always been uh, well most of the time 
Sometimes, you know, if you slide him enough under the table. Yeah, a little bit here and there. But, uh, you know, he's always said, yes, whatever you need to do, you just do it. And and it's been a wonderful partnership. And and I I can't thank you enough. You've done a lot for our program and really gives us a casserole from on Thursday. Isn't there a great casserole at what is it that makes? Uh, oh, so you mean chicken the, casserole, the liver, yeah, chicken chicken casserole, casserole on Wednesdays. So I usually try to Wednesday, have my meetings oh, yeah. up there so we can we can give them a little chicken casserole. But I, I, I greatly and, appreciate. Uh, I really need to come up our check partnership. Out to Walker Valley again on that Wednesday. Oh yeah, I'm gonna Wednesday's, tell you what. The, Wednesday's the day to come. I'm yeah. gonna tell you what what they do there, and, and we're not. This isn't just like back and forth, back and forth. All these wonderful things to be said, but what Walker Valley High School, the media department, and what this man does there. It's unbelievable the amount of work that goes into it and the amount of experience these kids are getting in high school. And I've said it before, he's got students in his class that know more about broadcasting and editing and directing, producing than people that have been in the business for 30 years or more because of how, what they learn and how they learn. And it's all through this guy right here. Sure. He's, he's a great, wonderful, great. wonderful teacher there. So, you know, this is all like, you know, hey, yeah, let's, let's, let's sing Kumbaya. Let's get here in group hug. Yeah, I was going to say if we could Kumbaya. hold hands for a few minutes. But uh, we've got, we've got a couple of minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we've got a couple of minutes. But, but let's talk. Sports Zone is on every Wednesday evening on WTMB and Wednesday. Saturday mornings. Wednesdays uh, and Saturdays? Wednesdays at 7, 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock, yeah. Wednesday then, at 7 o'clock and then whenever, Joe. So it's, so it's 10 30 on saturday morning 10 30 on know. saturdays i know that sometimes it fluctuates but you know it's just a little show we put together uh me and uh coach bo borders up there interviewing some of the teachers i got a new segment this year that we're real excited about because the students uh it's called up close i got a couple students this year actually getting some on-camera skills yes. and working on doing some of that and interview some of the players and things like that it's just a little 30 minute program you know Very it's, well it, done. It, it, it just you know it's something that uh you know, just to kind of highlight some of the things that are happening in our school and just kind of give our program. People don't realize how much goes into a 30 minute television. <laughs> they no, they no don't. It's, it's we've really gotten a lot better at it than we used to, but you know, it's, it's a lot of fun and it, you know, we, en we enjoy doing it. It's just a way to, to kind of give our, you know, give our kids some real, you know, this day and age in education, it's all about giving students real world experiences and, and absolutely. how much more real world experience can you get than actually doing a television show. So absolutely. it's a lot of fun. And they do a great job. And if you've not seen it, you need to check it out Wednesdays at seven and Saturdays at 1030. So what are you going to do on your birthday? I, you know what? I, I really don't know. I'm, 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 I, don't, I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm thinking that I'm hoping as once again, as Kim has in the past, she'll have those four dancing girls come by like she does later in the evening. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then, of course, she leaves and goes shopping. And, um, you know, and then I, just the four girls and I, we just dance for about maybe well, an hour and a half. She couldn't but she did get John Cook. Well, which is, well, he's about the size of a four, four dancers. Yes, right. Yeah. So uh, that, uh, that'll work. He's going to be there with his uh, stage name. Yes. Uh, Flavio. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to appreciate that. Yes, he will. But, but we also want to <laughs> real quick mention about Ron and Debbie Moore's show, Old Town Cleveland, which is on Whoop Radio 99.9, every Saturday from 10 to noon. Right. They talk about history, or different history, but history in this community and different things, different topics. Very interesting. In fact, a couple of weeks ago, it was extremely interesting. It was the Saturday I was on. Um, and then, of course, every other Saturday, you have other interesting uh, things to talk right. about, other interesting guests, calls, that kind of thing. Right. So you want to check that out as well. Guys, I do appreciate you being here. I promise you, it was a surprise. Kim didn't tell me a thing until just a little bit ago. I was like, what? So, and, and my wife is wonderful like that. She, she said does, cake. Yes. Oh, yeah. There's a, a, a group yeah. out there. Yeah. But, uh, and, but I do. I thank you guys for being here. And I want to thank, of course, uh, Mayor Tom Rowland, my dad, for, for being here as well. And my lovely wife, Kim, who, who set it up uh, and, and uh, honoring my birthday today. 54 years, Scott. 54. You don't look. A day over 53? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, it's been it's been a great show and again uh, simply because it's probably it's been about me uh, but with a wonderful <laughs> thing <laughs> there's, no, there's no doubt the wonderful thing is next Wednesday a roll around again and we'll have other interesting guests but it won't be about me that time although unless I can finagle it somehow uh, but Kim will be back too then and you can see Kim's beautiful face so Thank you guys so much. I do appreciate you. Really, I really do. Happy and birthday, I, buddy. Thank you so much, pal. Happy thank birthday. you, buddy. 
I love these guys, and of course, Mayor Tom, and my wife, Kim, for putting this all together. And I want to thank you guys for watching today on this Wednesday, December 5th. Remember, Cards and Gifts, Post Office Box 83, uh, Cleveland, Tennessee, 37364. We'll see you guys next Wednesday on Tennessee Valley This Morning. Thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day. Thank you.